hello guys welcome to C learning with new video in this video we will learn about uh, telnet configuration on router so when we bring a new device so device is a fresh device so first of all we have to configure the device uh, to reach the device we use the console cable so so we connect the console cable through PC so from here we use the console cable so if you put the console cable here just connect and if you start your PC so you can access the router through console so you can see the cons uh, console window so just connect so you can see the interface of uh, router 4 so you can also see the router form here so we are accessing router from this PC so we have to uh, configure the telnet configuration so the telnet configuration is for all the time we cannot access the router from the console port so we have to access the router from the remote places so you can access this router and change the configuration of this router from any place so just enable the telnet configuration to uh, enable the telnet configuration we have to go in system view systems view and telnet telnet service enable enable so telnet service is enable now yeah, now you have to uh, enable the interface the virtual interface on telnet so command is user interface user interface vty 0 to 4 so 0 to maximum you can use 0 to 15 so you can see here from 1 to 4 for the user terminal so you can use maximum uh, 15 so at a time 15 user can access this uh, router from the remote sites so we use this so now we give the password so authentication mode authentication mode here the a few question marks so you can see the two authentication modes one is a triple a authentication and other is a password authentication so we done with the pa password authentication in this video in very uh, in our very next video we will learn about how to configure the triple a on uh, router or triple a configuration so here we go with password password if you enter so you can give the password here huawei one two three now we give the password here is a huawei one two three so if we enter so now you have uh, configured the telnet configuration so if you now disconnect this pc now we have disconnect this PC from any remote side we can access this uh, router so from this router we access the router 4 so now we are in uh, router 3 if you have you do this command telnet 192 so I have just configured the interface of uh, routers with the IPs so this interface is a 3.1 interface I write there 192 168 3.1 so this is the interface you just type the interface of that router so you will read this router now you can see that we have we have to give the password so just give the password 3 so now you can see that we can access router from from router 3 so like this you can access from any remote place as well so you can access this telnet router from this router and this router from any place now we will access this router from this router so first of all to accessing this router we have to configure the any routing protocol so I didn't configure any routing protocol here so we will configure RIP on all the routers RIP version 2 and the networks which are connected to that router R192.168 uh, 3.0 network so now you can see I have configured the network now we will go and configure this if we quit now we are in router 3 so we will give rip configuration rip system view 
rip version 2 version version 2 and the networks network which are connected to that uh, router r192.168.2.0 network and 5.0 network which is the this network and the last one is a 3.0 network so we have configured the rip here as well now we configure rip here we go in system view and the rip command is rip version 2 and the network 192.168 uh, 2.0 network 4.0 network and 1.0 network so now we configure rip here system view sorry for version 2 and now the networks are 192.168.1.0's network sorry and another network which are connect to this interface the 6.0's network so we have configured so now we configure repair system view Rip version 2 and the networks are 192.168 only one network connect to this router 5 is 4.0 network on this interface system view Rip version and the network is a 6.1 network so the network is 192.168.6.0 uh, and the last one the 5.0 network the network is 192.168 and 5.0 network so now we have configured the routing protocols now we can access this router uh, telnet router from anywhere so maximum five user can access at a time because we give the uh, vty interface from zero to four so it means that zero one two three and four the total number of users can access that telnet router is five so one by one we will access that router our telnet 192.168.1.3.1 1. Now you can see the we have access that router into 3 router 4 from here uh, telnet 192.168.3.1 so you can see here 1 2 3 so now we are accessing this router from router through from this router telnet 192.168.3.1 uh, and now you can see from here as well from this router telnet 192.168.3.1 uh, so from here so total now we access Huawei 1 2 3 password is so from 1 2 3 and 4 now this is the last router from where we can access telnet router so the telnet 192.168.3.1 so you can see here now we access it from 5 routers now if we access uh, telnet server from this router because this is a 6 router so we can't be able to access this router telnet 192.168.3.1 uh, so you can see here uh, it's trying it will keep trying until uh, anyone from the 5 user will go back and stop using telnet so we will do 